Hi, I played an awesome trick on my dad today. But don't worry, you'll see it later on in the video. Even my sister came, run came running upstairs laughing out loud when she heard what happened. But don't fear, I got my mum's permission before I did this. Because it involves a shell, I'll put up a few videos, well, lots of videos to show you, to show you more about the shell and teach you more about the shell. Just imagine, you got your Raspberry Pi, you may have got it for Christmas, your birthday, or you may have saved up for one. And you've been playing a bit of Minecraft, a bit of Connect 4, and maybe even a bit of Scratch and programming. You might have done like Python programming. And then you discover the secrets of the shell. That night, you're lying in bed thinking, if only you had your dad's password, you could connect to his shell from your shell and play just a clear genius trick on him. That night, you can't sleep, you can't eat breakfast, and school seems to take so long, when all you want to do is get back to your Raspberry Pi to start plotting. I'm going to SSH into my dad's computer. SSH stands for Secure Shell. So first we need to type in SSH Alex at... 192.168.1.27 Alex is his username and all the complicated numbers is his IP address plus where his computer is. Now he's going to ask me for his password which it already has. Now the password is something to do with this Lego brick toy thing and when he was born. We are in his computer. <gasps> We're in his computer, actually inside his computer. It's worked. The password is well done. If you want to know more about how I got his IP address and his password, I'll tell you in another video. Isn't it amazing that I've got my shell on my computer? Well, Raspberry Pi, and my dad has got his a shell open on his Macintosh computer, and I can connect from only my Raspberry Pi to his Macintosh computer when it isn't even a Raspberry Pi, and I've got a Raspberry Pi. Crazy, but we did it. Now, if we type in who, that's the good word. I'll type in who, and show you obviously who's on the computer. And as you can see, my dad's got his logged in, Alex, and he's got several shows of shells open. As you can see here, oh, there's good old ass, cheeky ass logged in as Alex. <laughs> now, if we type in top, my name's Ew, Min. Well, this will show you all of his processes and programs that are running on his computer. And because he works on the Macintosh, they've got slightly different processes and programs that are running. So, look, we've got, we might find them familiar, like Finder, that's where he saves all his files and stuff. We've got Twitter, Google Chrome, Mail, Google Mail, lots of other programs that we'll know. But the one we're looking for is a program called Sublime Text that my dad's working on right now. And that's the one we're going to close down for the trick. So let's see if we can find it and write down its number. Sub... Hey! <gasps> Sublime Text, yo. And let's write down its number. 952... 952-51. Now for the trick of my dad. <sighs> I'm going to introduce you to my bro to my brother. Hello. Hi. He's gonna grab this GoPro thingy and be record my daddy uh, my dad on his trick. First we're gonna warn him and then first we're gonna warn him and then we're going to close the my text and so tap in. Oh, yeah. 
Hi. After. Nothing. Why are you videoing? Um, just for some. Dad, watch thing. out. Right. Why is my computer talking to me? Uh, nothing really. You timed an MP3 to play on my no. computer. No. I've been away. No. That's why you're videoing. No. Hopefully, oh. that's close of my text. Has it worked? Yes. Yes, it's worked. My evil plan come true. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you've learnt something new. Bye bye for now and see you on my other videos. Bye bye.